Welcome back. Look, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like Westerns are making somewhat of a comeback and America is eating it up. The CW is extra excited about the new Western series, Walker Independence. You can catch it on Thursdays at 7 p.m. and it stars Catherine McNamara, who uh, we all know from shows like Arrow and Shadowhunters. So I was happy to interview her about this new project and ask how it felt to film like you're in the 1800s. Check it out. Catherine, thank you so much for being here. My absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me today. No problem. So let's talk about Walker Independence. Give me, give me the background. Tell me what this series is all about. So this series follows the story of Abigail Walker, who is the great, 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 great grandmother of Jared Padalecki's character, Cordell Walker, in 2022. So what it does is it tells the origin story of this family in Texas and the beginnings of the Walker Texas Ranger legacy. I love that. And you know what, even though it's uh, kind of like living on in the legacy of Walker Texas Ranger, I feel like Westerns are coming back and, and they're just bringing people in. I mean, we had we have 1883 and then uh, just all of these these new Westerns coming back. What do you think about that? I think it's wonderful. You know, it's a genre that has such nostalgia to it and such warmth and, and there's a danger and a romance and an adventure and so many different elements to it. But what we get to do with Walker Independence is reinvent the wagon wheel a little bit and bring different perspectives and different new vibrancy in, in the color and the, of the wardrobe and our sets and everything and the music that we put behind the show, but also in the cast of characters as well. We have this incredibly rich, diverse, cast of characters and and some characters that you don't often see in the genre. Yeah, and I, I love that it is kind of a story being told from the female perspective and mm -hmm. as, as well as being a Western, because as we know, back then, we didn't really have all the, <laughs> the freedom <laughs> that we have now. So it's really, really interesting and I think important to see this era from a woman's perspective. Yeah, it's quite an interesting dynamic because you get to see a woman who is of society, of Boston, of a town that is very um, developed for, for that time period, moving to a future that she thinks is going to be a fresh start, but it really turns out to be an entirely different fresh start than she ever imagined. Um, you know, when her entire life burns up, literally, within the first 10 minutes of our show, you see her presented with a choice to you know, become the victim of her circumstance or to reinvent herself and create her own independence, as it were. Yeah, and also you had to go to cowboy camp, right? Indeed, <laughs> indeed. How was, I mean, how was cowboy camp for a woman? <laughs> It was great. I mean, I'm a good Girl Scout. I had a little bit of a little bit of riding experience, but we have such an incredible team of horse wranglers and uh, an incredible team of horses that um, really showed us the ropes, for lack of a better term. And we got to learn a, a myriad of things, but um, I had to learn how to ride backwards on a horse for the pilot. And then now Abby has her own horse. So I'm, I'm getting to really bond with my horse, Joe. And uh, it's, it's a great time just to bond as a cast, but also it's a, a new set of skills that it's part of my, you know, my favorite part of the job that I have is that I get to constantly be learning and growing as a person and an artist. I like it. Are we going to get you having some like stunts in this series? Are you because you're, you're looking for justice in, in your character, you know? <laughs> indeed, indeed. I mean, you know, coming from the world of Shadowhunters and Arrow, when I'm jumping off of buildings and shooting things, whether it's with a magical, you know, portal out of my hand right. or uh, an arrow out of my bow, uh, you know, it's a very different kind of stunts and a very different kind of physicality, given that I'm in a corset and at least two or three skirts at any time. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's a different kind of action, but still worth the while. There's a lot of blood, sweat and tears that goes into our show. Yeah, and speaking of the wardrobe, how was it shooting on these, I'm sure, long days? You got to be out in the, you know, wild, wild west. And I saw yeah. videos on your Instagram that the rain would sometimes stop production. <laughs> Was that like a, a everyday occurrence or what? We, uh, we started shooting this series during monsoon season here in New Mexico. And so just about every day, because, you know, for safety, we're not allowed to shoot when there's lightning within a certain number of miles from our set. Thankfully, they try and keep everyone safe. 
Yeah. Um, but it, you know, it did, it was a bit of a hindrance at a certain point, but it's just beautiful. I mean, New Mexico is such a gorgeous place. And the fact that we get to really capture that in our town as a character as well, it's, it's just absolutely stunning, even in the rain, you yeah. know, um, but, but it, it is interesting getting to learn how to go through life every day in a corset and several skirts, but it's so worthwhile. Our, our costume designer, Marion Toy, is just brilliant. And she and her team create this blend of vintage pieces and pieces that are built for us for the show that just really create such a vibrancy to the world. Well, I cannot wait to watch. I don't know what it is with me. And like I said, like this resurgence of Westerns and I'm just all in, I, I promise. So we cannot wait to watch Walker Independence. Thank you so much, Captain, for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.